Hi Maddie recaped here today I am going to explain an American drama television film called to be fat like me. Allison is an overweight high school senior she is kind and polite too. Everyone but doesn't quite get the same treatment from others because of her. Looks one morning she gets on the bus too. Go to school her simple existence makes people roll their eyes even though she apologizes for nothing at school she goes to her first class and compliments a guy's shirt in turn he looks at her weirdly and doesn't seem grateful. Another man calls her a cow and everyone else laughs in fact the only person who smiles at her is another overweight girl. At the end of the classroom during lunch, she politely approaches the popular girls asking if she can sit with them. But they reply to her kindness with insults similarly she is catcalled and looked down upon everywhere she goes by. The end of the lunch break she is almost in tears she rushes to the school's bathroom and takes off her clothes, revealing that she is actually wearing a fat suit that makes her look overweight when in reality she has the ideal body type that most people desire it is. Allison's first day as an overweight girl. The scene shifts to a few months earlier. Allison has always been popular and has never had any difficulty making friends. She is in her last year of high school and is excited about college. The only problem is that she hasn't been able to collect enough money for her college fees yet it turns out that her college funds were used as medical bills for her mother who got sick because of binge eating ever since then Allison dislikes people who do not take care of their bodies and eat whatever they please she also frequently taunts her family for having a cake or a pizza once in a while. Her little brother Adam is fat and is always bullied in school but Allison thinks it is because of his unlikable personality although she never means harm to her family Allison is unaware of the privileges she gets for being pretty. Currently she is working hard to earn a softball scholarship for college she is very close to getting one but when she is informed a group of scouts from the university is coming to test her the next day Allison is overjoyed and hopes to do her best that day on her way back home she saves her brother from a bunch of bullies he isn't thankful because she made him look like a coward who hides behind his elder sister at home Allison refuses to take a bite of the cake that her mother has made for her the family hates it when she makes them feel bad for eating but does not complain then at work she is approached by a popular guy from school named Michael he asks her out on a date and the two go on a walk. Michael is also an athlete so the two have a lot in common he promises to come to her game the next day which makes Allison more nervous in the following. Seen Allison and her team are playing softball in front of the scouts she does well in the game until an opponent accidentally jumps on her leg and injures her knee as a result not only does she not get the scholarship but has to quit playing sports altogether after months of physical therapy she gets back to walking but her chances of getting into college are far gone by now she is sitting outside her house one day thinking of what could be done next when Adam returns home with both his shoes missing Allison advises him to be less sarcastic so the bullies will be nicer to him but the comment couldn't be further from the truth Adam tells her that people dislike him before he even opens his mouth because of how he looks. When Allison refuses to believe him he reminds her that she has no say in the topic since she has always had privileges because she is pretty later. Her mother tries to cheer her up but Allison blames her for all the problems. She is facing this causes a rift in their relationship but she couldn't care. Less the next day at school Allison's friend Sarah comes to her with a flyer about a state level competition one should make a documentary about the challenges high schoolers face in their day-to-day -day life and the winning prize is $10,000 Sarah allows Allison to take all the money if they were to win since she only wants exposure because there is no other way for Allison to earn enough money for college she takes the deal she is sure that her younger brother and mother use their struggles with weight as an excuse for everything wrong in their lives and is convinced that even if she was fat people would be nice to her because of her personality hence she decides to be fat for a month to test the theory they can call the documentary to be fat like me inspired by John Howard Griffin's 1961 book Black Like Me in the following. Scene Sarah gives Allison a complete makeover making her turn from size zero to overweight they also place a hidden camera in her backpack and glasses so they can film how people treat her on. Her first day at a new school as a fat girl Allison is confident that if she is nice to people they will be nice to her. Sarah suggests she try to talk to as many people as she can especially the popular girls but only a few hours in, Allison realizes how wrong she was about. The topic the only people who are nice to her are a fellow overweight girl, Ramona and her friend George they even 
invite her to join their study group. After the mental breakdown in the bathroom she brings out the camera in her bag and yells that she hates her fat body this makes her realize what other people who are not as conventionally attractive have to go through on a regular basis and this is only after a few hours Allison is a wiener outside she meets her teacher from her former school who catches her in the act he doesn't necessarily support her but asks to see the final result of the documentary too. judge if she is doing the right thing later that day Allison and Michael hang out with their friends on the basketball court the guys jokingly say that away to know that girls won't gain weight in 10 years is by looking at their mothers. They also make fun of fat people and say that they would never date them. Michael agrees to everything which makes Allison feel a bit strange. Still, she dismisses the topic and kisses him. The two started dating when she got back from therapy and have been together ever since the following day. Allison goes on a study date with Ramona and George. She has decided to film them to get more insight into how people like them are treated. However, Allison fails to comprehend that she is violating their privacy by recording them when they are vulnerable. In front of her when she and Ramona are alone Allison finds out she is in love with George but Ramona denies it after that the girls go shopping but are told to go to another store because their size is not available Ramona is used to being treated like that but Allison is furious at the rude sales girl she creates a scene and makes her apologize. Ramona is shocked as to how she is so confident because the bullies and constant taunts have made her a coward. Long ago the comments make Allison realize why people don't usually stand up for themselves and that makes her feel awful she decides to use this clip of Ramona in the documentary in the following scene Allison and George are outside a restaurant talking George seems to be interested in her but Allison thinks he's just being friendly suddenly she notices Michael and her best friend Jamie hugging each other and driving off she tells George she is dating Michael which surprises him since guys like Michael do not go for overweight girls. That evening Allison sees her brother, hesitating to talk to a girl he likes, because he is not confident about his. Looks she makes him understand that if he lets the bully's comments get to him, they will win Adam is happy that his sister is giving him good advice for. Once at the end of the day Sarah gathers up the footage from the videos of Ramona. She makes fat phobic jokes and expects Allison to agree because she is thin. Herself she also insists on putting Ramona's video in the documentary. Because it is good content however, Allison doesn't want to include her in the project anymore because they will be broadcasting her entire life to the people it's mean and it's also flat out illegal the next day Allison and her group score a B plus on their project and go out to celebrate as they are. Bowling a group of teenage boys starts bullying Ramona when Allison stands up. Against them they pour water on her head. This causes her prosthetics to rip off and the truth is revealed in front of Ramona and George Allison tries telling them that it is for a documentary but it only makes them feel worse for the next few days Allison leaves Ramona several messages apologizing and asking for a chance to explain herself but Ramona refuses to reply Michael also notices the shift in Allison's attitude and asks her what is wrong she doesn't tell him about the documentary and dismisses it by claiming she is stressed about the Upcoming test one day on returning home. Allison finds George sitting outside he has come to give her study material so she could do better on the test since she has been skipping classes to refrain from wearing the fat suit starting the next day Allison studies harder than she ever has she had never thought of getting good grades for scholarships because it was never her thing but after a little motivation from George she begins believing in herself on the day of the test she gets into the fat suit for the last time and goes to school. Ramona completes hers the fastest and walks outside Allison runs behind her, begging for a chance to explain herself. However Ramona tells her how horrible of a person she is for filming her at her most vulnerable moment because she has never been that open with anyone before. She drives away right after leaving. Allison feeling guilty after that. Allison shows the finished documentary to her professor who claims that it ends. Abruptly they still have to find a way to conclude it at home Allison's mother finds out about the fat suit in her project she thinks Allison is trying to mock her by wearing the costume they get into a huge fight Allison calls her selfish for getting fat and reveals that she hated having a bigger mom growing up. Allison has learned nothing she regrets saying that right after but her mother 
locks herself into a room before she can. Apologize Allison goes to Sarah with an idea to conclude the project she wants. To go to a party dressed up as her fat self and see how people she already knows treat her in the end she will. Reveal her true self and make a statement they put their plan into. Action even though Allison is very nervous she finds Rini flirting with Michael at the party and feels worse. Then she already does she is pushed around and laughed at by everyone in the and she takes off the prosthetic on her face and belittles the guys who bullied her and the ones who laughed Sarah gets her footage and she teaches everyone how mean they are to people for no reason. Michael is hurt because Allison didn't tell him about the project and kept lying to him instead in the following scene Allison returns home and is confronted by her father about what she said to her mother earlier Allison apologizes and claims that she said those words out of frustration but she didn't mean them the next morning she apologizes to her mother as well and the two make amends they agree to talk to each other about their feelings more often that day Ramona also comes too visit Allison after her anger calms down. She thinks that the documentary will do her good since she will finally be able to show people how they have been to her. She allows Allison to keep the clips on. It then we see Michael and Allison. Together he accepts her for who she is and forgives her for lying he has.